Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt tō koingua. My name is Sharon Holt, good to see you again. Today I'm going to be talking about some simple ways of talking about whether you're hot or cold or hungry or thirsty. Some of the simple things that we might discuss with children or other family members. So one of the ways you can do that, there's several ways, but one of the ways is to say, so this is saying something about myself, so o or aho. Kate there is how I am at the moment, and so this is about feelings and actions. So here we could say, Kei te makariri o, or Kei te makariri aho. Makariri, I am cold. So makariri cold. Kei te makariri. Makariri, makariri. Kei te makariri aho. Kei te makariri o, I am cold. So if you want to ask someone if they're cold, Kei te makariri kwe? Kei te makariri kwe? Are you cold? If they want to say in Māori the reply, I, kei te makariri o. Or if they're not cold, they could say, Kaore o i te makariri. I'm not cold. No, I'm not cold. So let's try it with hot, weather. Kei te wera aho, I am hot. Kei te wera o, another way of saying I am hot. Kei te wera kwe, are you hot? I, kei te wera o, yes, I am hot. Kaore o i te wera, no, I'm not hot. And let's try hungry and thirsty. So for hungry, I say here kai, which is literally wanting kai, wanting food, here kai, but you can say, and some people do say mate kai, mate kai is more literally meaning, as far as I'm aware, starving, kind of so hungry that I'm starving, um, but yeah, it's, it's a preference, so I'm going to do it with here kai, but you could do mate kai, kei te here kai o. I am hungry. Kei te hia kai aho. I am hungry. Kei te hia kai kwe. Are you hungry? Kei te hia kai kwe. Ai. Kei te hia kai o. Yes, I am hungry. Kaore o i te hia kai. I'm not hungry. No, I'm not hungry. And the same with, you could say, hia inu for thirsty. And I noticed in one book today that I was looking at for mate kai being hungry, that thirsty was mate wai. So that could be something that you would prefer, mate kai and mate wai, because here inu can be a little bit hard for some people to pronounce. Up to you. Kei te hia inu o, I am thirsty. Kei te hia inu kwe, are you thirsty? I. Kei te hia inu o, I am thirsty, yes. Kaore o i te hia inu. No, I'm not thirsty. So that's the lesson to do with those. And then instead of myself and are you and I am, we could say kei te something. So this is the water. Kei te wera te wai. The water is hot. Kei te wera. So it's pretty much the same. But instead of saying you or my or you or me, we're saying the thing, the water. So, and if you want to change this to a question, it's just with a question mark. Kei te wera te wai, is the water hot? Kei te wera te wai, full stop, the water is hot. Kei te wera te wai, is the water hot? And you can do this also for animals, not so much whether they're hot or cold, but perhaps whether they're thirsty or hungry. Kei te hia kai, Tengeru, the cat is hungry. Kei te hia kai tengeru, is the cat hungry? Kei te hia inu tengeru, is the cat thirsty? Kei te hia inu tengeru, the cat is thirsty. So, 
that's something for you to work with. You could work with that with yourself, practicing that um, with your own sentence structures. Try and stay with this sentence structure for a while with lots of different feelings and practice that until it becomes um, something automatic. And do it with the um, ideas with children, how to, how to talk about those things which come up a lot in normal conversation in English. Hot and cold and hungry and thirsty. Okay, all the best with that. Ka kite.